So, I'm going to show you what your troll looks like. Are they all trolls? No, they're not all trolls. They're just humans, but we're talking about the Zodiac right now. Hmm. Please it's the Zodiac full of trolls. Yes. Okay. They're all trolls. The Zodiac is all trolls. Exactly. Did you want to record? I've been recording. Thanks. Well, I mean, like, I haven't been recording, just like... You just said you've been recording. I'm confused now. Okay, I've been recording for a little bit, but not, like, all of it, you know? Fine. Okay, here's what your troll Hold looks like. Hold on. I need what to, like, back up a little bit. So sure. Like, okay. All Zodiac is trolls. Yes. What exactly is a troll? An alien. In this universe. Hmm? It's an alien. A troll is an alien. Yes, a troll is an alien. Why do they call themselves trolls? Be they're aliens. Because that's their species, Rian. Don't their be species are trolls. Yeah, don't be speciesist. Trolls, I usually think of as xenophobic. Like giant sorry, large beings from the Lord of the Rings. Or you would the think. Harry Potter. You would think that, but no. There are subclass of trolls. Internet trolls. Nice. Yeah, I know. Isn't it great? So what, do they feed off of being internet trolls? No, we first met them because they were being trolls on the internet. Okay. Whatever. They were yelling- And there's 12 of them. Yes. And they each decided to name themselves up the Zodiac? Or did we no. just put that classification because the writer did? No, no, that's going to open up a huge ass can of worms if we go into how exactly the Zodiac- works in this universe, so let's just focus on the fact that... Damn it. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Let's just focus on the Fine, fact... Fine, we're focusing yeah. on Sagittarius. Sagittarius. So there's a tr there's one troll per symbol for right and now. And now we're Sagittarius, which happens to be mine, because I was born in November. And you were born with... Are you sure it's Sagittarius and not Capricorn? Just wanted to clarify. Yes, Capricorn comes after. Cool. Good. You you got, in my opinion, actually, it's it's not the best one, but a better one. What, than Capricorn? We'll talk about Capricorn later. Right yeah. now, let's focus on Sagittarius. Here's your troll. Here's what your troll looks like. I said look like a vampire with bad teeth. He's not a vampire. He does have bad teeth. Very emo. Are they all emo, though? Is everyone from Homestuck kind of emo? Oh, wait a minute. Are the horns to specify a person from a Zodiac? Is that the horns are about in Homestuck? Are they yeah. all internet trolls? Yeah. Yes, these are the internet trolls. But everyone who has aliens. the horns from, like, the... Different conventions and shit. Yeah, those are just trolls. Alright, uh, anyone who is dressed up with the horns, any character that has horns. From Homestuck. From Homes, yes. I mean that, yeah. <laughs> that is an internet troll. Yes. Character from the Zodiac. Yes. Okay, why now, does this character have so much going on? <laughs> I already know that you told me before that none of them have arms, and I, don't, I still don't quite understand that, other than maybe the writer just okay. had a really hard time trying to draw an arm and a hand, but... Okay, you know how when you play a video game, you don't actually see their arms when you're moving a character around? No, I don't know that, because I play video games in a while, You but... know how when we were playing Undertale, we never really saw Frisk's arms? Fine. That's the reason. I still can't get over the fact that the character's name is Frisk. It's better than our name is Evie, but... We try our best, Rhiannon. Anyway, there's a lot going on with this character. Yes. So you okay. got a broken horn. Yep. You, huh? Yes, that's true. He has a broken horn. Specifically the yellow, but I'm not sure if that really means anything other than it's just it's broken. Broken glasses, broken teeth. Is this character like a fighter or something? Yes. Okay. Yes, he is. And um, the reason I said vampire is because he's got that V hairstyle. V? V. Yeah, uh, Widow's Peak. 
You wait. You you think V from uh, you think V from uh, fuck. I don't remember the name of the movie. You think? No, I wasn't thinking of V for Vendetta. I was Thank just you. literally focused on like the physical V from the Widow's Peak. Oh right, we were talking about this with uh, Vampire. Vampire. Yeah, that's vampire! the specific reason why I was thinking Vampire was because of the fact that he's got a Widow's Peak, like a very very strong Widow's Peak going on. Okay, um, Fido mode. Well, he, he's not a vampire, but he is very, very strong. He doesn't have any arms. He gains arms eventually. Fine. <laughs> Why does his shoes... Cleats. Someone's... Yeah, okay, <laughs> just making sure that those are, in fact, cleats. Like, I don't know. What kind of cleats? Soccer cleats? Fighting cleats. I really hope they're not... No! Golf cleats? No, he's not a golfer. They kind of look like... Okay, so... Something. You want to know what his name is? Are you sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm picturing it be like soccer cleats, and then he's got some sort of like own story, or own movie where like, in the daytime, I'm a soccer player, and at night... I'm a crime fighter or something shit. Oh my god. That's why I have like broken glasses and shit. That's a hilarious AU. I would love that. Soccer player by day, crime fighter by night. But why are being like super edgy emo kind of thing, like just all the time? Approved. Kind of keeping everyone away. We're drawing this, people. We're drawing. (laughs) We're drawing this. (laughs) It's just what it looks like to me. Okay, now what? Uh, you want to know his name? I thought it was the Sagittarius! No! That's the symbol! That's the name that we gave the symbol! What humans gave the symbol! Okay, he- so the out on. I know you already said that's going to open a can of worms, but each of them have a symbol on yes. those shirts. Yes. Based on our human oath zodiac. Yes, let's go with that. Why do they have. Arrow symbols on their shows. That also opens a huge ass. God of- damn it! <laughs> Rian, that's the same question. It opens a can of worms so big, it'll cover up, I don't know, five hours? We'll tackle Are this. Are you kidding me? No. We'll tackle this later. We haven't even reached the best part about this character yet. We haven't even... Dis- we All we saw is what he looks like. We haven't even talked about his personality. Well, there's a lot going on in what he looks like. I understand that. You said he? that like five times. Yes, he. Okay. This is a man. Or boy. Male? Boy. How old is he? Uh, 13 to 16? There's like a three year... Wait, do these aliens have the same human, like, year... Age? N- uh, n- is that okay. different? Okay, okay. In human terms, he would be 13 years old. In troll terms, he would be six sweeps. I don't even know if I want to ask what the fuck <laughs> that means. Um, they're- Sweep? Their planet takes twice as long to rotate the sun as ours. So and just say he's 26. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't work that way. 26? No, the other way around. Yeah, other, other way, way around, around. Other way around. Other way around. So their one year, which they call a sweep, is our two years. Fine, a sweep equals a year. No, a sweep equals two years. I just said this. No, I it. mean a year in their yes. world. Yes, yes. In their planet going around the sun. One sweep would be... Conf- All right. Yes. It'll be one of their years, two of our years. Yes. Okay. Uh, so what the hell is a 13-year-old doing over here in the earth? Did someone bring him? Um, well... Or are they actually over on their own planet, and they're just being internet trolls from their planet over on this planet? Yes. God damn it. <laughs> How is that a bad thing? <laughs> Because <laughs> otherwise, I mean, somebody brought a 13-year-old across galaxies. 12 13-year-olds. So these 12 13-year-olds just somehow managed to connect to our internet from their planet. Yes. To be fair, even I don't know how the internet works in this logic, but you just go with it. <sighs> okay, so that means that these characters... 
never in fact ever physically interact with other like Earth characters. It's all on the internet. Yes. Okay. I'm lying. Although there was a lot of like real dimension shit. I already know that you told me about a little bit of that before, but <laughs> Sure! Okay, going on. What is his name? You know what? Why don't you guess? Look at How the hell am I supposed to Bob? <laughs> Bob. How am I supposed to guess what his name is? Dave. Brian. Henry. His name is not none of those things, but I Grant. will throw out there. Dave is a character in Homestuck. Is he a human? Okay, but like, how am I supposed to guess what an alien name is? Madringe Bob. <laughs> He's Madringe Bob. Like, no, but I mean, like, it could be any random set of names, letters, characters. Okay. So, that make up a name. Fair. His name is Exclamation Mark. <laughs> Like, it could be literally anything if it's an alien. All right, so his... Anything that's, like, non-pronounceable and... Don't worry. ...pronounceable and... Oh. His name is pronounceable. His name is called Equius. How was I ever going to get that? Uh, so, the very first thing I thought of when you said Equius, I was thinking of Equifax, and that's terrible. Equifax? What? Like, the... I think it's a credit score company. No! Yeah. No, okay. His name is Equius. Aquarius. No, no, no. Uh, that's a different thing. I know it is, but why they decide to have two names no. similar to each other? Here, I'll spell it out for you. E Q U I U S. You know okay. what? You know what that's similar to? No, Aquarius. No. Um, equal Aquarius. What? <laughs> no, I was trying to think of what Equius can split up into. I don't know. A quality or some shit. Equine? God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> so. So it means he's a horsey. Equius. A horse. <laughs> a horsey. Horse like. Horsey. I don't know. Something like that. Okay. So, Horos guy is super um, strong. Yep. I'm assuming he doesn't have, like, a pet horse or something. <laughs> really? Um, okay, so... Does he turn into a horse? I'm afraid of that, actually. That's Will like, like, turn into a half horse? I'm also afraid of that, actually. Like, that is a running fear for the rest of Homestuck, is if he does turn into a horse. Okay! It has happened to other characters, so... S- but! <laughs> Ignore Hold this. Hold on, does that mean that cancer... Oh, which one is it? Is it cancer that like, turns into a crab? No one turns into animals! I thought you just said that they did! Well, a mechanical horse, but that's something completely different. And... No. Okay. Anyway, okay, so. Backpedaling on troll culture. Trolls do not have parents. Parents? Parents. They don't have parents. They just magically appear on the internet. No, they have, okay, so they sort of breed like ants is a good way of putting it. There's like a queen and she gives birth to like all the babies. But they don't actually raise and care for the babies. They have a special type of monster animal thing called a Lucius, who actually takes care of the babies. Lucius Malfoy? Sort of. El- it's actually him. No. <laughs> <laughs> he, in fact, <laughs> flew away into another planet to be the mom of all these people. All right. It's one animal per troll. So they each have their own special caretaker until they're like adults or something like that. So all of them have an animal that takes care of them. Yes. So one person would have an owl that takes care of them. Yes. And so that means Sagittarius probably had a horse. A centaur? Yeah, close enough. It's, yeah, it's a butler. Yeah, that would be like right on the nose in terms of it being Sagittarius. Yes. It is a... A butler? Yes, it is a butler... His name is Artur. Does that mean Cancer had a crab? Uh, yeah. 
That's a little sad, like you're looking at Sagittarius. No, no, no. Haha, ha, I've got a centaur butler, and then the other one's just got a fucking crab. It, it sort of switched around. The crab is a crab monster that's like six feet tall. Okay, fine. And it's while, a bit better. while the butler's a wolf. I was thinking of just like a one foot crab. <laughs> no. It doesn't really do anything but, for you. It's kind of similar to Sebastian, I guess, when you think about it, like a little mermaid. <laughs> like, yelp at you, but might not really. The uh, butler, though, is sort of a wimp. It's just like a horse with like an old man face body on him. Okay. He also has udders, so Equus gets. Sh- I'm just gonna glide past that. You're not. He gets strong by drinking the milk. He's got arms. See, it's art style. Sprite form, you don't see the arms, sprite. But then, like, there's a thing called which uh, fans called hero form, quote unquote. So his horns change color. Yeah. Is that just spout milk? Yes, he drinks the milk from his Lucius man butler. And the milk is what- That looks like it's in a glass, though. He dr- he broke the glass while he was trying to drink the milk. So, he was the too man strong. butler put the milk into a glass yeah. and then gave it to him. I guess it's better than the Were other Were you visuals. thinking he was drinking from the Well, teats? I mean, you said it was udders, okay? He milked himself into a glass. I don't know what kind of weird ass. Okay. So he gets strong and he's like Superman strong. Wait, I'm confused as to how his shirt works. He has a wife beater on. What do you want from me? Tank top. Yeah, but, like, what is this line? That's his hair. What are you talking about? Oh, I see it now. I just needed to move the uh, screen, screen up, up so that you could see the different colors going on. Um, wait, why is his hair grow long? Okay. Oh, no, it didn't really grow no. long. It just... It's always long, but, it, like, got you got... It. Like, there's two art styles. There's sprite style, which is, like, His the... hair did change color from black to gray, though. Yeah, but the, there's sprite style, and then there's, like, uh, quote-unquote hero form style. Uh-huh. Where they're just, like, you do it for, like, close-ups or dramatic shots. Okay. I'm sorry, does that say hiss? He's hissing because he broke the glass and dropped his goddamn milk. <laughs> so is he angry because he broke the glass? Yes. And then he just went into sprite form because of the fact that he broke a glass. No, 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 no. They're always in sprite form, basically. Majority of the time, they will be uh, in sprite form. But this is just what we see because it's like the 8-bit form. Yeah, it's like the common form that we see. But... They that's get, what he actually looks like. Yeah, that's what he would actually look like. He has arms, but visually, to make things easier or simplified, it's just in sprite form. Most of the characters are okay, in sprite like form. Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, like Pokemon. Because, like, you could see a really weird, dumbass-looking bird, but then when you actually see the bird, it's like, oh, shit, that actually looks legit. Yeah. Okay. Um... I mean, the character does look a little bit more legit in the sprite form. Uh, yes. Hold on, give me a second. I think a better way to describe uh, Equius's personality is to show you what his room looks like. Room? Room, yes. I assume it would be emo ask. No. And then again, I think a lot of those characters look kind of... That way. Damn it, it won't get bigger. I'm trying to find a decent ass. No, that's not even. So, how tall is he? I. I, ooh, I honestly don't know. How tall any of them are? Because, like, he could be two foot. He could be six foot. He could be 12 foot. No, he's not 12 foot. He's like the size of a 13 year old. But I... I'm saying, though, because he's an alien, a 13-year-old alien's gonna look different than a human alien. Okay. Well, yes, it they look... It could be minuscule. It could be, like, the size of an atom. Because we don't know how big these guys are if they never actually interact with the humans. They're human-sized. How do you know that? We know this, Rihanna. Are you sure you know this? Yes. Okay, do you want to see... Now, I'm... be warned... 
His room is weird as hell. See, I figured that because the shower. It's not a shower. Here you uh, go. What is this? Does it do you make robots for a living? Yes, he fights the robots he makes. So he's actually an engineer. And uh, why are there so many blurry pictures of horse things? Um, so. Jesus. <laughs> Do you want me to explain why they're bill why they're blurry? Or I why know they're why they're blurry, but like, what is wrong with this person? Okay, so does that picture say something like "I am strong"? I can't read it. It probably says. does say "I am strong." It it tracks pretty well with uh, his personality. Hold on, does he have a thin for his butler? No, just. Horses. Because it's a horse. His butler's a horse guy. He doesn't want to have sex with his butler, though. That's weird. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he has kinks. Obviously. Uh, Are he, you sure he doesn't turn into a horse? Yes. So what he so does that mean? Because I see that these people have horns. Does that mean all that he wants to have sex with the horse? Then no, all trolls have horns. There's no point in having horns. Like the horn- horse. He wants to have sex with the horse. Then okay. In the way that this is, he is okay. So he so he's thirteen. Apparently, uh, I don't know. From I can't really take anything he says with a grain of salt. Take this whatever he says with a grain of salt. Uh, he said that. These things are called muscle beasts because they're strong and they have muscles, muscular but horses. This is he just drew up. Too. No, no, no. This is like classical art. Okay. Trust me, it's weird as fuck. Uh, so he is. Oh my god, he's an outro. He he is. He wants to be. He can't. He's too strong, so he breaks the bows constantly. Okay. So he can never- Anyway, back to that horse. Yeah, okay, so, like, he is an elitist, and apparently having pictures of, like, furry horse pictures, like, sexy horse beings is called classical art. So he appreciates classical art by getting sweaty. Oh, is that a lion? Probably, he probably doesn't limit himself to the horses, let's be real. But his thing's specifically for horses, but... This is so weird. So, I, I'm just gonna let that go and it, just focus on everything else. Sure. We also need to talk about his other kinks. No. <laughs> we do though. No. It's in right, now we're gonna focus on the fact that he has a lot of he has a lot of heads but not a lot of bodies. He keeps breaking the bodies. Okay. He fights his robots. Okay. He built he his... only fights the robots. Yeah, he, he doesn't do anything out. No, he only fights the robots. They don't have sex like that. Again no. with the weird Pictures. Okay. No. No. I'm, we're moving no, on. Mo so no. They don't have sex like that. They went in the pictures. He could get turned on. He, he just doesn't have sex. God. Do they just? Oh, okay. So his other king. Let it go. <laughs> All right. So I'm assuming in, in their world, the world is red. Yeah, I think. Those are windows. Yeah, those are windows. Oh, uh, so why not just make it a. Um, uh, I feel like there are better ways to make pictures instead of making a lot of small holes like that. True. I'm sure, like, outsy or whatever, but, like, you could just have just one big fucking window to make everything a little easier. Yes, however. In terms of installation. However, if you count the number of tiny squares in these windows, uh, you'll notice that the number is 12. Yeah. That's, wait, no. Yeah. Four. <laughs> <laughs> if I count the number of eyes, is there 12 too? Eyes and what? No, there's one more than that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You didn't Not count. Not 12. Yeah, okay. 
But I was just wondering. Okay, so he is a strong fighter. He is a elite or elitist or part of the elite member of society. Mm, doesn't look like it, but okay. Uh, yeah. He is still a weirdo. Yes. Um, he has kinks. Yeah. One of them is being dominated by people higher up than him. I mean, if I was looking at the pictures, it kind of seems that way anyway. I mean, higher... This one. I mean, hi- I mean higher up in the social class, not... I... Not, mm, not fine. being dominated by like just like a big giant fucking uh, again. I mean, he's got horns, and in that particular picture, you all got trolls guy have horns, horns right? right? All trolls have horns. Yes, but the horse then doesn't. It's a horse. <sighs> so he looks being dominated by somebody who's higher than him in the social class. Yes, I thought you said he was a leader. He is. So is there anyone else to be at, higher than him? Yeah, he's he's not the highest person. <laughs> what happened if that were the case? I am the highest person, but I need to be dominated by somebody who's well, higher than me. That goes to his other kink, which is being dominated by someone who is lower so, than that's, him. Okay, that's just being dominated, period. But part of it is... He likes being dominated by people higher up than him because it is, like, his position in the social order. Whereas he likes being dominated by people lower than him because it goes against said social order. If that makes sense. He just likes being dominated. Okay. Yes, and he has different ways of showing it. Okay. Very strange ways. Um. He gets sweaty every time he gets turned on. And so he has constant uses I mean, of is that just him or is that just, like, everybody? No, no. Trust me. It's just him. People call him out for it. Okay. So. Why does this character have to be so weird? They're all weird, but I'm going to be straight with you. He's probably the weirdest out of all the trolls. Okay. Do any others have weird pictures on the walls? Yeah, um, they have weird things. There's a human guy that has a, pictures of horse shit on his walls too. If that what the fuck? It's worse because it's actually a a model modeling in horse gear. And those are the photos that he puts on his walls. Okay. So it's like the human version of... Moving on. So I'm assuming that's his computer in which he, uh, trolls. Yes. Well, they haven't started trolling yet. I thought the whole point of this is that they were internet trolls. Yeah, they are internet trolls. They haven't trolled? How did they, how does everyone, okay. like, connect then okay. in the show if they haven't been, okay, whatever. Okay, first let me just establish this. So, in the narrative of Homestuck, we are introduced to the trolls via the internet. Mm-hmm. They are basically assholes who's screwing with people. Mm-hmm. So we call them internet trolls. Ha ha, that's pretty funny, you know, mm-hmm. there's the gag. Then we find out that they're aliens. Mm-hmm. And, like, they're alien trolls. Like, that's their species. Trolls. So they're, ha-ha, internet trolls. Because they're aliens. Because they're literal trolls. Ha-ha-ha. Mm-hmm. And this is basically a flashback. To when they were younger? No, to just them on their own planet. Before, before they... Before they were dealing with Earth. Okay. So all of this is just a... Flashback. I mean, that's why you see what to show uh, who they are. Basically, yeah. Okay. Give us an idea of like who their personalities are. And this guy is fucking weird. Yes. He does have a uh, girlfriend. Who has seen his room? Yes. 
Well, actually, no, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a long distance relationship. I'm not entirely Maybe sure. Maybe for the best, but then again, if you ever were to go on Skype, there'd be a big fucking picture on the back wall. <laughs> <laughs> um. So they're okay. Love is a bit complex, but just hear me out here. Uh huh. There's four types of love in troll culture. And uh-huh. they're represented by card suits. Why? Because it is chap. Uh, and his girlfriend is in the diamond section. And right, he's in the club. No, 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 no. They feel diamonds for each other. Like if you're dating. Hmm. Okay. And so you might have two people that are in a heart relationship and two people in a club relationship or three people in a... I forget what the other one was. Uh, a spades relationship. Closer, it's actually two for hearts, two for spades, three for clubs. I was just joking. I know, but it was right. <laughs> I can see how clubs should be three, though, because those three leaves on the clothes. Exactly. Now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. Spade just be one person. <laughs> <laughs> no, so he has a girlfriend, and they They're are... on a diamond. Yep, so they're... What does each one of these mean? Uh, diamond is a term called moirail. Instead of giving me the name of it, because I'm never... <laughs> Yeah, you care about that. It is, what does that mean? It is a type of love that's uh, sort of like soulmate type love, where so you. So it's the best kind of love. It's like you connect to each other on a just like a, a deep spiritual level, but it's also a way of balancing each other out. Mm-hmm. Like your strengths will balance out his flaws. His mm-hmm. strengths balance out your flaws. So it's a good relationship. Yeah, you keep each other in line to make sure that one person doesn't murder. Jesus. They're a very violent species. Okay. So that's a s- diamond, which is spade. A spade... Okay, so like, hearts is basically love, right? Like, how we view romantic love of like... Finding people looking attractive and wanting to sleep with them, like that, right? Mm -hmm. Spades is sort of like that, except that they absolutely hate each other. Okay. It's like nothing but loathing. It's just hate, hatefulness. Okay. And yet they still find the other person attractive. And so they still get in a relationship. Their relationship is based on the fact that they hate each other because they can't why can't they be decent fucking people, but they're not decent people, but they could be, but it's so aggravating that they're not. So they use their hatred as a way of fueling their lust for each other, and they have anger sex. Okay. And then a club? Uh, sometimes when two people are all, are already in a spades relationship... But they meet people outside of that relationship and start trying to hate on them in a sexual way. They'll bring in a third person person to basically tell them to stop that and not mm-hmm. be cheaters on so their So then partner. if there was that, shouldn't there also be a hot relationship in which they bring in somebody else as well? No, because you see, uh, spades also work with like like, like, uh, clubs also work with, like, if a currently cemented spade relationship, Mm -hmm. which is called pitch, uh, if they hate each other so much that they both go on a murder spree, Mm -hmm. that's also a bad thing, and so they need the club person to basically calm them down, tell them to get their shit together and stop murdering. How many people get murdered? On this planet, a lot. So, like... There's already been a genocide, and that was before any of these events started happening, so... So they just like to kill. Yeah, they're a very violent race. You said genocide. Do they, like, murder other races? Or is it just general, like, well, I'm just gonna okay. feel like killing 20 people today? That, and they don't have races, they have blood types. 
<sighs> How would you even know what another person's blood type is? Can you guess what Equius's blood type is? I'm gonna guess it's the same when I was like that Kyoya and what no, I can't remember the name. No no Ever, is it the A B They have no no no, that's human blood type. God damn it! Okay, uh I don't know. Horse <laughs> No. He's got horse blood in him. No, it's not horse. It's green. No, but you're getting closer. Well, it's gonna be cut it's numbered. Hi, I've got number four blood. How the hell did you get number from green? Uh, no, I'm trying to like <laughs> figure out like Okay, if it's not going to be, like, our blood types, which is, like, letters, then maybe it's colored blood type. No, it's not colored blood type. Okay, maybe it's I never, numbered I never blood said type. That no, it's not numbered. Okay, how Rhiannon. about I have heart blood type. Rhiannon, I never said that it wasn't colored. I said it wasn't green. I said you were oh, pretty it's close. Colored. I said you were pl- pretty close with the green. Okay, okay. So then it's purple blood type? No. Blue. Yes. Because he's got a blue symbol on him. Yes. There you go. That's your answer. That's how people can tell who's what blood type. But then you can just put a different fucking shirt on with a different color. No one has ever thought of that, actually. What? Oh, oh, oh. Here's another thing. How about you just don't have a symbol on your shirt and it's just a black tank? Then, people, then nobody would know what kind of blood type you are. Then people would think that you're ostracized and weird because you don't have a symbol. Everyone he's already that. weird! <laughs> Fair enough. Yes, he's blue. He's in the higher food chain. He's a blue blood. How many different types of blood are there? Well, well... Really? Listen, I don't even know how many different types of blood there are. Wait, are you saying that the 12 people in the Zodiac, each of them also have a different color? Ding, ding, ding. So there was at least 12 different casts? Yes. Cast case? Whatever it is. Cast? Case? Cast system. Cast. Yeah. Casts. Okay... Blue is not the most elite. No, it's not the most elite, but, but it's, it's up there in that It triangle. is a blue blood, yes. Does it go in the order of a rainbow? So, like, the most elite would be purple. Or uh, black. Or white. Yeah. So then you've got the most common, which would probably be red. Followed by, like, an orange. Followed by, like, a yellow. Followed by, like, a green. And a Yeah. Is it exactly you're getting like that? it. Yes. Wait, red, orange, I'm counting. Yeah, count the colors. Yellow. Three. Blue. Four. Fuck. <laughs> Yellow. Three. Green. Four. Blue. Five. Purple. Six. Black and white. Those aren't blood, those aren't cl- colors. No, they're not blood they colors. They could be colors. They're not colors. Hey, well, that's only six out of 12. Those are like red, blue. Ooh. Oh, is there a red <laughs> blue? I think no, we talked about no, being, being red blue. I, I think that's say, like red or orange. purple. Red or orange or like a lime green or any of those that are like yeah. in between all of them. Yeah, the lime green got genocided though. Okay. <laughs> also, lime green would be like right in the middle of everyone. Oh, cool. They're the ones that got genocided. Because it would be like red, and then red, orange, and then orange, and then uh, orange, yellow, yellow, uh, orange, whatever that is. Yellow, then lime green, then green. Yeah, they would be like literally right smack in the middle of it. Well, they're dead. Then green, then like a blue green, then blue, then like a purplish blue, then purple, and then I guess like an even darker purple. Uh, you want me to go under what the blood colors were? So. Okay, so there's rust red. Okay, I'm pretty close then, oh no. No, yeah, you're pretty close. You're definitely close. Um. Uh. Red. No, there's rust red. I'm trying to think. It's hard to put in. I'm surprised it wasn't like the rust red that got genocided. Uh, brown. It's the one like right in the brown. Listen, brown's still a color on the wavelengths. What do you want from me? I could put black and white on. No, they're not, huh? Uh, yellow, but it's not like a bright yellow. It's like a murky, crap yellow. Sorry, sorry, Solix. 
Okay. Um, let's see here. Yellow. I'm trying to think. It's hard to think of the order. Damn it. I was going to go with what I said. You don't necessarily have to go through all of it. Yeah, it's fine. Then there's like, there's like a dark, a dirty green and a deep green, like forest green. But the lime green used to be in there when it's Lime green used to be in, but they're now they're gone. Yeah, so it's Yeah, it would have been like in the middle. Huh? Toodaloo lime green. You got genocided. I'm sorry. R.I.P. Did you know anybody who was lime green? No. Did the genocide happen, like, recent? No. It was something that happened a bit ago. It happened, like, centuries, thousands, millennia ago. Okay. So the fact that these guys have, like, green stuff kind of run out of them. Those are doesn't... wires. Yeah, but it's green. Green wires. Fine, whatever. People still have green blood. It's just not lime green blood. They have, like, a dark green... His girlfriend... His morile girlfriend is a dark... Is, like, a dirty green bl- blood. So, she is below him. Yes. The... There's teal. Does she dominate him? No, they're more not like... Not that kind of relationship? Not that kind of relationship. Like I said, soulmates. Right. Which, actually, now that I think about it, does that fit him? He's actually pretty sweet. Like Minus I, his real kinks. Trust me, when I first read about this man, I was hating on him so hard for so long. It took me such a long-ass time for me to turn around on him. And one of the reasons I did was because of his actually decent, loving relationship with his girlfriend. Okay. Sure. Why'd you hate him? Because of this weird shit? Uh, he is... is kinks... He tried to get people to play into his kinks online without them knowing fully about it. Okay, whatever. He also is super into, you know, class structure and racism in general. Oh, great. Which is, like, another thing. Great. Yeah. Which is getting fight with other people because of it? Huh? Is that the reason why he looks like that? It's because he gets in fight with other people no, because of it. No, he fights the robots. So, him losing a horn, broken glasses, broken teeth, or from fighting the robot? Probably. We don't have confirmation about the broken horn, but it is assumed that, yes, it is from fighting robots. That are stationary. They're not moving now. <laughs> like, you could have the robot turn off. I don't know if, whether they're just, like, mannequin robots that you just punch and kick or whatever, or whether they actually, like, move around no, and no. Can fight good. They fight back. They punch them in the teeth. Okay. Sure. Uh, so he's not fighting them to, like, try to get better to fight somebody else. He's just literally liking to fight the robots. Listen, I don't know why he makes robots to fight. Maybe it's both. Who knows? Okay. Uh, other blood types, just to, like, label them off, is you have, like, an indigo blue... You'll have a, I think that's him. You'll have a uh, teal. Teal is a blood type. Mm-hmm. And you, along with the purples, you also have fuchsia. Okay. So yeah, it kind of goes in rainbow. Remember our conversation before that fuchsia technically doesn't exist? I was trying to remember whether it was fuchsia or not. <laughs> So that's why you got into the topic because of Homestuck? No, I actually found it on a different thing online and it was like So fascinating. Okay, that has nothing to do with the Homestuck culture as to whether or not Fuchsia exists. Yes. Okay. But it is a neat little tidbit of sort of like a placeholder. Why specifically fuchsia doesn't exist? Is it just like pink colors don't exist, or is it just? No, no, like... no. We could see pink, but the co- but we are unable to see the color that com- like the wavelength that combines between uh red and purple. Like we're unable to see like the next step. Be- well, it's because like they don't technically wrap around. Mm-hmm. Like the though- way that we like to think of color wheel. Right. Right, right. And so, because they don't wrap around, there's nothing really there. 
But it is there because you can see it. Because the brain sort of, like, puts in, like, an error message of, like, this is an empty space, there's nothing, there's no information processed from this. So, that means, as a computer would do the 404 code. Yeah! Whenever we see any pink colors that are in between Not red and purple. Fuchsia. It's pink. It's fuchsia. It's specifically fuchsia. We can see pink. We can't see fuchsia. Where's pink in the spectrum? I mean, it's not. It's There's no troll pink blood. It's just red and fuchsia. So never we want to see a color in between red and purple. It's fuchsia, and it's fake. But it's royalty. So, like, if real. our brain ever decided color-wise that we had an error message, like, infarted wrong... The entire world did would just, just be say, fuchsia. Did you just say infarted wrong? Faulted. Faulted. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Sorry, it's because of work. Whenever we have error messages with particular... <laughs> you have... We have particular, like, automated machines that fault. <laughs> Fart. Shut up. I know, but I like you. Okay, fine. If our brain farts and <laughs> decides that colors don't exist, the entire world would just be like. pink. Fuchsia. Yeah. If it were to go that way. Otherwise, yeah, it would be black and that would be called... Darkness. Being, no, that would be blind. blind. Actually, I don't think black is blind. I would think blind works that way, yeah. Because black That's is... just completely, like, shut off. Like, yeah. You know, the entire thing, the entire code just, like, cut off on your body and Yeah, whatever. that means that... I... But, like, if it were an error mess... I wonder if that's a thing. I'm gonna look it up. Okay, cool. Are there any... Are there any other questions you want to talk about, uh, Equus, Homestuck? There's a lot of shit that I just went through, and I don't know whether my brain can compute it all. All right, we're done! Hold Yay! on, I'm going to look at color, arrow... Are we really going on with this? Pink. Humans. I just want to say. Pink it. humans. Please. Is pink a fake color? Cool! While you're looking up, is pink a fake color? We're going to move on. Bye! Yeah. All right.